Good afternoon. My name is Rick Schlesinger. I am president of business operations for the Milwaukee Brewers. I am pleased to welcome all of you to celebrate an historic bipartisan accomplishment that ensures Major League Baseball in Wisconsin for the next generation. We stand on the shoulders of people who had vision and courage in the 1990s to create a public-private partnership to build this ballpark and keep the Brewers in Milwaukee. The success of that public-private partnership provided the framework that resulted in the bill that the governor will be signing today. With me on the stage are distinguished guests who played a key role in crafting the legislation that guarantees this state-of-the-art state of the art ballpark will remain a jewel in Major League Baseball through 2050. Please join me in welcoming Governor, to governor Tony Evers, who provided leadership and unwavering commitment to the Brewers and our fans. The co-authors of the bill, Senator Dan Fine and Representative Rob Brooks, who invested countless hours in co-authoring the bill, drafting it, meeting with stakeholders to refine the legislation, helping to propel it to where we are today. <laughs> Representative Christine Sinicki, a key member of the Assembly who worked tirelessly to reach a solution that balanced the needs of Milwaukee with the rest of the state of Wisconsin. Our local leadership, Milwaukee County Executive David Crowley and City of Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson. Who from, I know from personal experience worked very hard to work out a deal and meet the needs of the city but also recognizing that the needs of the state needed to be met. Commissioner Emeritus Bud Selig, who knows a thing or two about ballpark funding and keeping baseball in Milwaukee and who provided great insights as we navigated through the lawmaking process. Yes, Our owner and my boss, Mark Antanasio, who has been a custodian of this great franchise and who made the commitments on behalf of the team to ensure passage of the legislation. I would be remiss to not recognize the contributions of the legislative leadership across both sides of the aisle who were unable to be here today but who were instrumental in getting this to where we are today. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemihu, former Senate, Senate Minority Leader Melissa Agard, Assembly Minority Leader Greta Neubauer. These individuals worked with singular focus with their respective caucuses to forge a bipartisan solution. We have great appreciation for their efforts over many months to get us where we are today. Also, there are many state and local lawmakers, staff members, and other public employees who work behind the scenes to provide critical support, guidance, and analysis to reach this historic solution. We appreciate all of their efforts and wisdom. Now please join me in welcoming to the podium the governor of the state of Wisconsin, Tony Evers. Well, thanks so much, Rick, and good afternoon, everybody. It's a big day. I want to start by thanking our hosts here at American Family Field for having us today as we sign into law these two exciting bills that represent the bright future of the Milwaukee Brewers and Major League Baseball here in the great state of Wisconsin. This issue was one that took tremendous amount of hard work and compromise to find a solution. So I'd like to thank all the local and, local and labor partners, lawmakers, and so many supporters for being here and for your efforts to get this innovative plan over the finish line, or today, I suppose we should say across home plate. Folks, like many of you here today and like generations of fa families across the state of Wisconsin, I've been watching baseball in Milwaukee since county stadium days. From meeting Hank Aaron back when I was just a Cub Scout, which was a bit of a while ago, to the chance of a lifetime watching the great Warren Spahn 300th career game way back then. And if this was Miller Park, I was sitting right over there when I saw that game. And to the, um, uh, to the countless and, in my opinion, priceless Brewers bobbleheads that I've added to my collection over the years, the Brewers have been a huge part of my life, and I think countless Wisconsinites can agree. 
The Brewers are an essential part not only of Milwaukee's but our state's culture and identity, identity, but it's also our economic success. The team generates billions, that's with a B of dollars, in annual economic impact and supports thousands of quality family supporting jobs, including more than 1,000 local union jobs. Losing this team would have had a ripple effect uh, felt by families and communities across the state even far beyond Milwaukee and Southeast Wisconsin. So that's why as governor, I've been committed to do everything in my power to help ensure that future generations of fans could grow up rooting for the home team just like I did. Today is the culmination of months of bipartisan conversations, collaboration, and hard work. We were finally able to come to a compromise that respects the interests of each party involved safeguarding taxpayers and keeps the Milwaukee Brewers here in Milwaukee through 2050. To address needed maintenance and upkeep of the stadium, this plan provides more than $500 million in public funding over the lease of the, in terms of lease of the, of the facility. This plan also creates additional revenues to ensure funding expectations are being met and used appropriately with the interests of all the local and public and private stakeholders in mind. All in all, this plan ensures that the Milwaukee Brewers will continue to call this city home for nearly 30 more years. It's a meaningful demonstration of what we can accomplish when we decide to work together and do what's best and what's right for our state. I am proud to sign this plan into law today because I always knew that we could get this done to keep the team and critical economic driver right here in Wisconsin. And folks, that's exactly what we did. So with that, it's now my pleasure to hand it over to Mark At Atanasio for a few words. Mark, you're up. Thank you, Governor. It's truly a special day to be here with all of you celebrating this historic milestone in this special place. On behalf of the entire Brewers organization and our family, we want to say thank you for the hard work of everyone here and so many others who are not in attendance, all of whom helped ensure that Brewers baseball will be in Wisconsin for the next generation. As I start my 20th year with the Brewers, I want to highlight the four pledges I made in my introductory press conference here in this ballpark. Two of them are front and center today. First, delivering the best fan experience possible, and second, fielding a perennially competitive team. Major League Baseball defines Milwaukee as the smallest market in the sport. However, instead of size, I've always focused on a different measurement, the passion of this community, which has directly enhanced our success on the ball field. To, live, to deliver on our brand ple pledges for the long term, it's our job to foster healthy partnerships, the most important being with the fans and the community. Today's landmark signing will help us continue to deliver the best fan experience possible, one that continues to be independently acknowledged nationally. To all of us at the Brewers, our world-class ballpark is the bedrock and foundation for this fan experience. That is why today is such an important occasion for all of us. Our public-private partnership provides the opportunity to compete on the same stage as any market, both on the field and with our fan experience, regardless of size, going forward. This coming together is the DNA of the Milwaukee Brewers, and it's been from inception 53 years ago in 1970. As Rick Schlesinger mentioned, we're fortunate enough to have my close friend and mentor, Bud Selig, with us today. Beyond leading the fight to bring Major League Baseball back to our state, Commissioner Selig also led the efforts to make this beautiful ballpark a reality 
more than 20 years ago. Thank you, Commissioner. You're a true leader in our community and our family is grateful for this opportunity to continue as stewards for this great franchise and ballpark. Today's ceremony celebrates how meaningful the Milwaukee Brewers are to the state of Wisconsin, this city and the five counties that surround Milwaukee. I'd like to uh, have a few thanks here. I'll try not to make this like an Academy Awards presentation, but a lot of folks were involved in this, starting with our governor, uh, Tony Evers. Uh, governor Evers showed early leadership in recognizing what an opportunity this was. I'd also like to thank the legislative leadership and the hardworking legislators on both sides of the aisle who worked tirelessly to find a solution here. Uh, and a few names to mention in particular, starting with Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, who did the critical work to get the bipartisan passage for the bill in the Assembly. Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahu, Lemahu, excuse me, Devin, uh, worked with this caucus in the Senate to refine the Assembly bill. Former Senate Minority Leader Melissa Gard and Assembly, Assembly Minority Leader Greta Neubauer for their bipartisan efforts in the crafting of the legislation. And also, and importantly, this would not have been possible without all our local leaders and all the stakeholders and supporters around the state. The mayor's on the stage with me here. Uh, Jack Salzwittle from American Family. I don't see you, Jack, but the naming of the ballpark and a terrific partner for the Brewers is here. And I noticed a number of the IBEW union uh, members who are here who do all the hard work to make all this happen behind the scenes. So thank, thank all of you, especially the, the hard workers in the front row. Perhaps most of all, I'd like to thank our fans. Our fans have so strongly supported the team throughout the 19 years I've been uh, the lead owner here. I'm proud that we've met your expectations, which are also felt profoundly with inside our organization by all who work here. Thank everyone for your support of the team and your work to get us here today. I've said all along how much this team means to me and my family. Uh, we love baseball, we love the Brewers, and we value what it means to lead a franchise in this very special state and city. With that, I'm excited and grateful to welcome everyone to this historic day and next chapter in Milwaukee Brewers history. Please now join me in welcoming our next speaker to the podium, the bill's author in the assembly, Representative Rob Brooks. Rob Brooks. Thank you, everyone. Uh, appreciate everybody coming out today. I'm going to be as brief as I can and just reach out and say thank you to, as Mark said, the fans. I really want to thank the Brewers. Their commitment from the day the governor announced um, in his budget support for the stadium here has been, I, I can't even think of the right word as to what their commitment from the Brewers to the state has been. They have been unwavering in their commitment to us all across Wisconsin and to make sure we came up with a good deal for people of Wisconsin, not just Milwaukee. But we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the mayor and mayor and county exec back here who really stepped up and made this a bipartisan effort. The governor without his initial leadership and kind of setting that, that goal, and once we agreed on the goal, getting to the final outcome, while it may have taken us eight months in a purple state, we're here today, and I just want to thank everybody, my colleagues in the Senate and the minority party as well. As you well know, this is a bipartisan effort, and we would not be here today without all of us coming together, and I hope that we can use the same model moving forward. So next up, I think, Senator Fine. Good afternoon. I'm also just here to say some thank yous as well, but it has been an honor and a pleasure to work on a bill that is going to keep Major League Baseball in Wisconsin for the next 27 years and being a major economic driver for the area of Milwaukee and the entire state of Wisconsin. 
But none of this would be possible if it wasn't for the leadership of Mark Antonazio, first and foremost, wanting to keep the brewers in Milwaukee. So none of this would be possible without that. So I want to thank, thank, thank Senator Lemihew, Senator Agard for their leadership in the assembly as well, Speaker Voss, Representative Brooks for their leadership in the assembly, Governor Evers for his leadership in getting this deal done, Mayor Cavalier Johnson, and County Executive David Crowley. And I really want to thank all the staffs of everyone I just mentioned, because without all their leadership and work, none of this is possible. And it was a pleasure to work on this to keep Major League Baseball here for another generation. This is a good deal for baseball fans. As a baseball fan, I think it's a great deal. A good deal for taxpayers and a great deal for Wisconsin. Thank you. Now, Representative Sinicki. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. So they saved the last, the, the best for last here. Um, as somebody who's lived in, their Milwaukee, in Milwaukee their entire lives, and someone who has been a Brewer fan her entire life, this is an exciting day. I walked in here, I said, it's much too quiet. You need to make some noise. We're inside of a stadium. First and foremost, I want to thank Governor Evers for beginning this process and for his persistence to get this job done. The fact that we are here today is because all the parties came together, including, believe it or not, Democrats and Republicans. And we know that it's, it's extremely rare in the state of Wisconsin. As a result of all that work, we have a bill that not only protects Milwaukee taxpayers, but it doesn't cut services, and it actually gives Milwaukee flexi flexibility in their finances. We also recognize the economic and cultural impact our Milwaukee brewers have in the state. From good paying union jobs, to merchandise, to income taxes. And no one can deny the excitement that we all feel when we have a winning team. And now I get the honor of turning this back to Wisconsin's MVP, who with one stroke, or maybe several small strokes, of his pen will ensure that our children and grandchildren will enjoy Major League Baseball for years to come. Governor Evers, it's all yours.